All right, Tom Oliver. Who is Tom Oliver? Can I click this? Who is that? Is that from the comics? Who is Tom Oliver? I don't remember that. Oh, <laughs> this dude. Let me catch one person on Facebook having shared the link to this video and then people in the comments going, what do they mean legacy of power is wrong? They're wrong. Legacy of power is, can you watch the video please? So I was at work and I was just like going through and like looking at different websites and stuff and I came across the legacy of power episode of, of Dino Thunder, right? Dino Thunder's legacy of power episode was the fourth episode of the show where they basically are trying to figure out what happened to Dr. O. They stumble upon this video file and it's Dr. O, Tommy, explaining the past history of Power Rangers from all the way in, like back in like Mighty Morphin, right? Legacy of Power was the 500th episode of Power Rangers. So it was essentially commemorating everything that had happened up until Dino Thunder. So they were showing off different clips and history of the Power Rangers from, you know, Mighty Morphin through Wild Force to Ninja Storm to Dino Thunder, right? Now, we all know that the, the Power Rangers wiki can be a little funny. <laughs> I started looking at the notes because I love looking at the notes and the trivia for like different wikis. It's really interesting. And some of this stuff made me laugh. And I just wanted to go through it with you because uh, some of this is kind of funny how much of Power Rangers outright like retconned everything that happened. <laughs> this was the first on-screen naming of the Space Rangers as Astro Morphers. Oh, that's... Wait, really? Is, is that true? They never said the name of the Morphers in InSpace. It is unknown how Tommy has footage of the event. Yeah. <laughs> Where did he get all this footage from? He came on screen and was like, hey guys, so I got the Shout Factory DVD series set, so we're going to be showing you guys some clips. Tommy mistakenly calls the Quasar Sabers the Galaxy Sabers. I would have done the same thing. Honestly, I don't care. I'm not some, you know, put some glasses on. They're the Quasar Sabers. They're the Galaxy Sabers. Also, how is Tommy supposed to know that they're called the Quasar Sabers? Oh, I guess he would know because he has all this footage somehow. It's unknown how Tommy knows about the events of seasons that happened after passing the torch. <laughs> However, as he joined up with several other Red Rangers in Forever Red, he may have listened to the stories of each Ranger. That... Y yeah. <laughs> Wait. Can you imagine? Like, Forever Red, they're all sitting in the Astro Mega Show. And then Jason's like, all right, so tell me everything that's happened to you on Earth, even though I was here to see it. <laughs> <laughs> I was no part of it. At the beginning of the diary, Tommy states that Kimberly, Trini, Billy, Zack, and Jason were the Earth's first Power Rangers. However, this has been proven to be untrue as the ancient Samurai Rangers battled the original way of life. Sir Ivan of Xandar became the gold Dino Charge Ranger. Can you imagine? You go to a panel and it's the Mighty Morphin cast and they're like, yeah, we were the first Power Rangers. And then someone stands up and they're like, um, actually, it was the Samurai Rangers that were the first. And they have no idea. They're like, what the... What are you talking about? <laughs> Imagine being shown up by Power Rangers Samurai. Unbelievable. The Morphin Masters were responsible for creating the first team of Dino Fury Rangers. However, show-wise, Tommy may not have known about them, and obviously they did not exist production wise when this episode was made. <laughs> that is so funny to me. The fact that you can just make stuff up and be like, yeah, we, they, they were the first. Meanwhile, like... All, all these years beforehand, it was like, no, it was this other thing. And now it's like, no, this was the first. What do you mean? It's like, now you have all these episodes that are mentioning things like, yeah, these were the first team of Rangers. This was the first Morpher. This was this, this, and that. And they're all wrong now. <laughs> Tommy claims that his friends were able to destroy the power sword to free him from Rita's spell, but the weapon's proper name was the Sword of Darkness. This is a repeat. Okay. If I was Tommy and I've been all, I've been through all that stuff, I'm not going to remember the name of the sword, right? It was the sword. I don't know. I, I I mean, I battled a snake in a movie, and I I was fighting aliens with like ten other Red Rangers. I don't know what the name of the sword is, right? It's the sword. It's the power sword. Wait. Oh wait. No wait. Wasn't the power sword the name of Jason's weapon in Mighty Morphin? <laughs> How did he not know? <laughs> wait. Okay. I mean, now that I understand why that's an error now. Tommy claims that upon joining the team, he soon discovered that the Green Ranger powers were only temporary. They only became temporary when the Green Candle took effect, and he had to temporarily give them to Jason before he claimed it with a <laughs> I really wish. I, I wish that in the episode, Tommy was saying this stuff. The Green Ranger powers were too much for me, and he had just someone in the background behind him just being like, what are you talking about? They were never a problem. Are you kidding me? <laughs> like, what do you mean? You're lying. He's like, shut up. The sections regarding each Power Ranger team and their respective missions become shorter and less detailed as they become more recent. <laughs> this possibly reflects Tommy's lack of personal knowledge or simply time constraints. <laughs> Tommy didn't care anymore. <laughs> like, oh yeah, and then the Lightspeed Rangers were, were cops, and I guess, and then Time Force were also cops, but in space, um, time 
Wild Forest had animals. Ninja Storm had ninjas. Dino Thunder, here you are. The Space Rangers are the final team in which Tommy mentions every ranger by name, though he the, though he named most of the Galaxy Rangers. <laughs> Tommy is a lost galaxy stand, dude. Connor mentioned that Tommy was the oldest living ranger, which isn't even true at the time. <laughs> who wrote this? Which isn't true even at that time because of Merrick, who is over 3,000 years old. <laughs> Ivan, I don't think Connor meant that legitimately. It was a joke, right? Oh, wait, no, it wasn't a joke. He said... He's the oldest living Power Ranger. I remember that. I remember him saying that. I don't think that's what they meant. I think that they just meant, you know, he, he's the longest running Ranger that's been a Ranger. I don't think. Anyway, number of events and characters are not featured in Tommy's video diary, including the Wild West Rangers. I don't. All right. Tom Oliver. Who is Tom Oliver? Can I click this? Who is that? Is that from the comics? Who is Tom Oliver? I don't remember that. Oh, <laughs> it's this dude. Why would you expect him to mention that? <laughs> I don't think he wants to ever speak of that again. Dex as the Max Rider. Now, you know. You know, goodness well, they were not going to mention Max Rider in the video diary. Are you kidding me? <laughs> that is so embarrassing. Tanya's not mentioned taking over from Aisha or even by name, but is featured in the footage. <laughs> That's a goof. Orc, the Blue Centurion, the Phantom Rangers, the Psycho Rangers, the events of Countdown to Destruction, as well as Zordon's energy wave. <laughs> That that is weird. That the fact that he didn't mention the entire world being saved that main time that was supposed to be the finale is very strange. I don't know how they missed that. Tommy's diary states that the Space Rangers fought and defeated Astronoma. However, this is untrue as Astronoma learned she was really Carone, the sister of Andros. It also makes no mention of Kendrick's death or Carone becoming the second galaxy king. <laughs> Who cares? Tommy said. He's like, it doesn't matter. Who can I don't, I, I, who, you already know. The events of Forever Red, which Tommy himself took part in. Tommy cared nothing about Forever Red. He was like, this is just another day on the job. I don't really care. Can we just move on, please? I know you guys want to talk about Forever Red, but can we please move on? That's really it. I mean, I just wanted to read that with you guys because I thought it was really funny when I was watching it, or read, when I was reading it when I was at work earlier. It, it just really, it, it made me laugh. And, um. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I didn't think it would be that short, but anyway. Check out the other Power Rangers videos I got on the channel. <laughs> I appreciate you guys stopping by, and thank you for boarding my rainbow line. I'll see you guys at the next stop. See you. Alicia, Andrew, Brandon, Caroline, Daisy, Daniel, Donnie, Emilia, Gwen, Ian, Junior the Hedgehog, Common J, Caitlin, Matthew, Matthew, Mia T. Toon, Nerdy Disney, Our Friend Barney, Sawyer, Velveteen, Thank you to all of my Rainbow Line passengers. See you.